Air Medic 1, Air Medic 1, you are cleared for landing. Here we go. Airway, Pulse. Airway. Pulse. Do we have airway? Hello? No airway. No airway. Let's get him ready to intubate. We have a medicine shock. Get shock on five. Can we get an IV started? All right. Chest compressions. Hold, us. See, Do we get a pulse? Pulse back? Still no pulse. No pulse? Okay. Continue compressions. Did anybody get with the paramedics to find out what happened? Can you get medics in here? I'm from Albany, EMS. All that we know is that he was an alcohol and he was in the back seat. He was found in the back seat. Yes. Do we know if he was driving a car? No, he was a passenger in the back seat. Hold compressions. Let's see. Check for pulse. No pulse. Continue compressions. Let's see. Probably belly full of blood. Obvious head injury. We check pupils. Fixed and dilated. Let's give a round of epi. Hold compressions, let's check for a pulse. Such a young kid, what a shame. It's been 45 minutes, no return of spontaneous circulation. We'll call time of death, 1655. Interpreter, 23 seat. This sheet, cover them up. Only so that we can deliver the bad news. We can turn the monitors off. breathing. Let's check pulses on this leg. And the only thing that's hurting is your arm and your leg. Yes, ma'am. We got good breath sounds. We can go ahead and get this dressing down and take a look at what we have. Obvious deformity. Let's call orthopedics and get them here. Good pulse here even though he's got an open fracture. We'll get him wrapped up. I'm about to go to Rice. I had a full scholarship there for football. I'm sorry to tell you, I don't think you're going to be playing football. This leg looks really bad. We're going to be lucky if we can salvage it. This, this is my last chance. We're going to do everything that we can. We're going to get your pain under control, and the bone doctor is going to take you up to the operating room and see if they can't salvage it. But you're not going to be playing football. That was my life. I'm so sorry. Good morning, Ms. Falzon. Um, yes, sir. I'm Mike Waldrop with the Paraline Police Department. This is Officer Despain. Uh, can yes, we come sir. in and visit with you a minute? Okay. Ms. Falzon, I know that um, you're probably wondering what we're doing here. Yes, sir. And I know it's scary, and I'm sorry we have to do this. Uh, there was a car accident this morning uh, right by the high school, and uh, it was in the car that Shannon I was riding into school, and I'm sorry, okay. but, but no ma'am, Shannon was killed in the car accident. What happened? Um, she was, uh, it looked like her, uh, I think this was her boyfriend, Austin. Yes, sir, was, he picked her up this morning. They were going to school. Yes, ma'am, uh, he was driving, and um, another car hit them, and Austin was injured, and there was another young lady in the car that was also injured, but unfortunately, uh, where Shannon was sitting um, it took most of the damage, and she did not, she did not survive. So what happened to the accident? Um, we're still under, it's the, the accident itself is still under investigation, um, but it looks like some of the other kids on the way to school may have been drinking. Oh, God, and she knows those, better than that. No, ma'am. I don't. It did not appear that Shannon had been drinking. There wasn't any I alcohol in there. I understand that, but we've talked about that. We've talked about being with kids that that make bad decisions or choose the wrong thing. Yes, ma'am. Well, I don't think Austin was drinking either. I couldn't. We we don't know, and we won't really know until the, the whole investigation comes out. 
you know, everything's settled with the investigation, uh, but it did look like there was some alcohol involved with the other car. Is Austin okay? Yes, ma'am. He's, he's fine. He's got some minor injuries, but he'll be okay. Oh, my God. Where do you go from here? Well, um... How am I going to tell my husband? That's, that's what I'm here for. If it would be helpful, could, has he gone to work already? Yes. Would it be helpful for us to send someone to, to It would be show? helpful if I didn't have to deal with this. Yes, ma'am, and I'm sorry. <laughs> She's my only baby girl. <laughs> what, what, what am I supposed to do from here? What is the right thing to do? What is the right thing for her? Well, I think the first thing we need to do is get some support here for you. Is there, uh, I think we need to call your husband and get him on his way home or her, have someone pick him up. And if there's a, a friend or a pastor or a church or um, uh, some family members that we could call to be here for you, then we need to call and, and get some support. I need my support. daughter here. Yes, ma'am, and I wish I could make that happen. I need her back here.